Abergavenny Museum and Castle would like to involve you in our project which looks to exchange skills and goods held by us with those held by individuals and organisations in lieu of financial payments. We have spoken to people to compile a list of skills and goods available locally and entered this information onto a database so we can keep a record of where transactions have taken place. So a rope access company is hanging knitted stained glass windows on the castle in return for advertising space. An Abergavenny Carnival lent us a marquee in return for hiring the castle grounds. These are just two examples of exchanges that could be made. This project is looking at how we exchange goods and skills and services with members of our community, be they individuals or businesses or local community groups. At a time when we're working to really maximise our income and work with ever dwindling budgets, we need to think of a way that we can work to gain the maximum from different sources. The, the whole working relationship with the museum was very positive, it was very encouraging. Uh, you know, it was them that approached us. Uh, they were very trusting with, with, with the access that we had to different bits of the museum and, and different bits of the, of, of the, of the grounds. Uh, they were very supportive uh, and so it was, uh, it was just a sort of good two-way working relationship. It worked really well. We, we had a very good um, training session from the curator and the people at the museum who told us that we were free to do what struck us. People, a lot of ordinary people, feel blocked out from this kind of thing. I learned an awful lot about the, the, the paintings and the, and the period and everything myself. It was a lot of fun to do and meeting these various people and uh, you know generally entertaining them. It's been a really good experience to do some event planning and um, we sort of learned a lot about like what goes on in the castle and the museum and it was nice to hear about some of the history of the castle because I didn't really know that much before even though I've lived here for a few years. I think that it's just a, a good way to get involved um, with your local community. Um, I think that other people could get involved and it's just a, a good experience, it's, it's just fun to do. Elsewhere, Charter Housing uses time banking to reward residents who are making a contribution to their community. A time credit is like a local community currency which people can then use to access different activities. So it could be a rugby game that they access with their time credits. This is by no means a new idea. Richard Lewis explained the LETS or local exchange trading system to us. I think LET schemes thrived better in, in times of hardship when cash was short. It could work and I think it's well worth exploring. Um, I think that there's some very good ideas have already been brought forward um, and I think it's quite an exciting concept. The only way to do it is to get the concept out there. If the Castle Museum, etc., does provide a bank of people with skills, then they can find a lot of opportunities potentially to say, I need a photographer, I need someone who knows how to put bits of wood together, a chippy in other words, and yep, yeah, find someone who's available to do some work. I think this year is very much a, um, an experimental year where we, we don't really know quite how things uh, will pan out, but. Um, it, it's just nice to see people working together and cooperating, which is, um, you know, very much the scouting ethos. And um, nice to see other groups in the in the town sort of joining in as well.